high call series. Morning children. So now in this lesson we are going to learn a new concept that is a transport. So before we start the lesson let me ask you a question. How do you go to your school? How do you go to your school? Yeah, if our school is nearby we will uh, walk. Okay. But if it is far away can we walk? No. Okay, how do your father go to his office? How does your father go to his office? Or uh, what about your mother if she has to go to the market? Or uh, if she is working, then to the office. If she has to go to market or buy something, how does she go out? So shorter distances we can walk, that is not a big issue at all. Right? But uh, if you have to go for a distance, then uh, walking is very difficult. In the olden days, people used to walk. That's true. In the olden days, people used to walk. But now, we use uh, something called a vehicle. Nowadays, we use uh, vehicles. And what do you mean by a vehicle? Yeah, the car, bus, kinds of things which carry us. Okay, so things like a car or a bus or a other kinds which can carry us from one place to other is called a vehicles. Right, so what is a vehicle? A vehicle is a things like a car, bus, etc which can carry us from one place to the other, right? Uh, we use a large number of vehicles. We use a large number of vehicles to go from one place to other. We use a large number of vehicles to go from one place to other and all these together we call means of Transportation. Right? So what do you mean by means of transportation? Yeah. Means of transportation is the different kinds of vehicles, vehicles that we use for a travel. Got it? See, when we check the olden days, there were no vehicles. Uh, people used to walk a lot. And uh, when we think about our mythology, mythology means the uh, stories and all these kinds of things about our gods and all. Uh, gods have different vehicles, isn't it? For example, goddess Kali. Her vehicle is a lion, Lord Vishnu. She ha he has a she ha he has an eagle, isn't it? Then uh, Lord Vinayaka, a small rat. Then uh, Lord Subramanya, Peacock, isn't it? Yeah. So when we check these uh, olden days, Puranas or Itihasas, we call the epics, we can see gods use different animals as their uh, means of transportation or uh, vehicles. Now, when uh, the kings ruled our countries, they also used animals. Which kind of animals were used by the kings for transportation? Yeah, some of the kings used uh, horses. Some kings used elephants also. Okay, and uh, bullocks were used for pulling the carts. Donkeys were used for carrying luggage. Isn't it? Yeah. So then, chariots came, bullet carts came. Hmm? So bullock carts, chariots, kinds of things were the first, uh, something like that of a vehicle that we can say. They were the first kinds of vehicles. They were pulled by animals. Bullock cart is a cart which is pulled by a bull, bullock, one or two. Then uh, chariots are pulled by horses. Donkey driven carriages also were there for, uh, you know, taking huge loads and all. 
Okay, so when we check these kinds of things, uh, they were completely on the land, isn't it? Let it be animals, let it be a bullock cart, let it be a chariot or anything, they were completely on the land. Okay, and uh, then people started making kinds of boats. One or two, uh, you know, wooden pieces were tied together, which will float on the water, and they used it for uh, crossing the river or catching fish and all, right? And then we got a uh, water transportation also. Later, so many years later, we developed the uh, air transportation also. Okay, so now we have. Uh, mode of transportation in all the three levels. We have vehicles which run on the land, we have vehicles which run in the water and we have vehicles which can go into the air also. Got it? Now, what are some, can you name some of the land mode of transportation? We have bus, car, train, Truck, bicycle, all these are land transportation, isn't it? Yeah, bus, car, train, truck, bicycle, all these are different modes of land transportation. Okay, so can you tell me one common thing in all these kinds of mode of transportation on land. One thing that is common in all the modes of transportation on land. Let it be a bus, let it be a car, let it be a train, a truck, a bicycle, a scooter, a bike. Huh? Anything. What is that? Yeah. So, road land transportation is basically on a thing called a tire. What is tire? Yeah, the round shaped thing on which the vehicle moves is called a tire and all the land based mode of transportation will definitely have tires. Bicycles have two tires, auto rickshaws have three tires, cars have four tires, okay, buses have six tires, how six? Yeah, the back wheels are two each. Okay, so when you draw a bus like this, huh? yeah, this is a friend one. Here we can see only one tire, but here there will be two tires will be there on one side. On the other side, again two tires. Okay, if we draw the bus from back, one, two, one. So four tires at the rear side and two in the front together making it all six. Okay, then huge trucks will be there. Huge trucks which carry very huge lots. They will have more number of tires. Okay, so tire is a common thing that we can find on all land transportations. Right, now can you think about uh, water transportation? Can you tell me something that runs in the water? Yes, we have boats. Huh? Yeah, ships are there. Then we have a ferry also. Okay, so uh, all in days, as, as I said, people, they just tied two wood locks. Okay, one, two. They tied this together, kept it in the water, it was floating, right? So they used this and later they developed a shape for that and we got a boats, right? Then we made huge boats which can travel long distances and they carry a lot of people. They are ships. Ferry uh, is for basically for carrying vehicles and people across a huge river or a huge lake or something like that, channels and all. Okay, so boats, ships and ferry are the common 
water transfer that we have and the speciality is uh, it won't sink okay it won't uh, sink now what are the common uh, air transportations that we have air transportation we have uh, aeroplanes we have uh, helicopters isn't it so aeroplanes and helicopters are the common mode of air transportation all right so uh, we have developed the transportation possible on land water and in the air okay so the land mode of transportation is possible through a large number of vehicles like a bus car train truck bike cycle scooter Huh? Uh, trucks and lorries are there, plenty of things are there. Okay, and we make a path on the earth, on the land, and that is what we call a road. Okay, so roads are constructed for the for the movement of these vehicles on the land. And most of not most, all these vehicles actually run on a thing called a tire. So based on the type of the vehicle. Based on the size of the vehicle, the size of the tire also differ. If you just check the tire of a bicycle, it's a small one. Now, check the tire of a tractor. It's this big, isn't it? Yeah. Second is water transportation. Uh, boats, ships and ferry are the common mode of water transportation. And air transportation is possible through aeroplanes and uh, helicopters obviously uh, air, air transportation is the last one that we have developed but now we have gone even beyond that see we have developed rockets we have developed space shuttles space shuttles in which we can go to the space and come back okay so it's still developing right so these are the most common modes of transportation that we have and uh, that is the lesson part as far as uh, transportation is concerned. Now we have got some uh, think and answer, choose the correct answer, question and answer questions related to this lesson and uh, we will do that, right?